Hey everyone, welcome to Connected. I'm Liz Lovegood. I have a quick story for you today. Hey everyone, so a weird thing happened when I was trying to edit this film on Disclosure. I had filmed this after December 4th, but shortly after, but I did film this in four segments. I do that because it's easier for my phone to send the videos to the cloud and then for me to download from the cloud to my computer and then put them on Wondershare Filmora, which is the program that I use to do my editing. So I was wondering why this was taking so long. I mean, normally, yes, the process takes a little bit for the video to go to the cloud and yada, 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 the whole process. But this was taking abnormally long for me to get the video. I don't watch the videos after I record them. Just so you know my process, I set up my iPhone and I last year I bought the iPhone 12 Pro specifically for the video quality for this channel. That's the only reason why I got the iPhone 12 Pro. Don't need it. Um, but I got it for the videos. And I set it up and I point the camera toward myself. I've been doing this for over a year now and obviously I know how to take a video. And I record myself. I click record and I have my speaker set up and everything. Then I go and I sit down usually or I stand in front of the camera and I deliver my message, whatever's coming through. So I, again, I've just learned to do this in four sep separate segments or in multiple segments so that it's easier for these videos to transfer instead of one big long two hour video that I have to then edit. So the total amount of the video was uh, around 45 minutes to 50 minutes or so before the editing process. And again, there were four separate videos that I didn't watch. I just did like normal and went to the computer, set up my Wondershare Filmora account, was starting to try to download them. So again, it took longer than usual for one to be able to access these videos on my iCloud. And then when I was downloading them, I was noticing that it was taking abnormally long and I didn't know what was the problem. So come to find out the videos themselves may read as nine minutes long or 10 minutes long, 13 minutes long, whatever on iCloud or on my phone. It may look like it's a nine minute video. But then what I noticed was when I pressed play, that nine minute video became like a 50 something minute video. So almost an hour. And I was like, what? what, what, what's going on? So I started watching it and this happened to all four of the videos I recorded that day. Again, right in a row. And these are the only four videos that this has happened to. So I start watching it and about a minute to two minutes in, all of a sudden I go into extreme slow motion and I'm going to show you what this looks like as you already may know because of fear of retaliation the way Then at the end of the 50 something minute video that should have been nine minutes as it was reading online and on my phone, it turns back to normal for the last one to two minutes. Asking for specific signs. Now this happened to all, again, all four of the videos that I took that day. Not only that, but they were distorted a little bit too. I think I look a little bit off which is weird and it was just a shock and it really really bothered me because I didn't do anything but hit record I've never used slow motion on my phone ever I've never had to use it for a video but 
obviously I click record and there's at no point can I get up from the chair, go to my phone, which is attached to a camera holder, change it to slow motion while I'm still sitting at the desk. Like I'm not a superhero. So I don't know how that happened. So I just assumed that, you know, somebody or something tampered with my videos in the cloud and that is what happened to the videos. I know this sounds, I'm not actually paranoid, I really don't care. I do know that it sounds like I'm paranoid, but that's not the case. Uh, according to my family, they think the government's been watching me since I was in high school, probably earlier, just for some of my ideas and thoughts and things that I've shared in school as a student. And not just that, like beyond that, you know, I am a librarian and a researcher, and I've dug deep into conspiracy theories in my past, and you know, all kinds of things. So I know, you know, when I talk on the phone with certain friends, I know I'm being pinged for certain words by the CIA and they're always listening. So I'm always like, hey guys, what's going on? After I said a few key words. I mean, at one point there was something I wanted to search online and I was holding back because <laughs> I knew if I searched this, I was definitely going to be on a list. <laughs> but, you know, hey, I searched it and I found out other people knew the same thing so it made me feel better but obviously like i'm not concerned at all i mean yeah i could get taken off the side of the road any moment from the government they could throw me in a van and whatever uh, and i'll never be seen again but that's fine you know whatever to each his own i have my own purpose and my purpose is to share information that i feel is shareable to my audience and that's just stuff that i research or i've intuitively grown to know and, you know, if you've watched the videos, I get information in all kinds of different ways. And I have a religious background, a spiritual background, all kinds of things. And I'm a researcher. So anyway, this video could have been triggering, I mean, which bothers me because I'm looking online and I mean, I watch a finance guy who's showing videos of UFOs. I mean, there's all kinds of videos out there from all kinds of people. So why, why are my videos being tampered with? Unless it's just some force that wants me to stop doing it. So I was going to give up. I mean, the holiday season was approaching and I just really I've been working on moving and I haven't had it in me to go ahead and do more videos. So I figured, you know, whatever, I'm going to look at it one more time. Maybe I can work on speeding up the videos. So I opened up Wondershare Filmora and I tried to do the speed thing and alter it. And it just really wasn't working right. My body was moving faster, but my voice was still messed up. So I looked online and they suggested if I had recorded in slow-mo, which again, I didn't because especially it changed mid midway, you know, like while I was sitting across from the phone so unless I did it with telepathy unknowing that it was my subconscious that sent that message to the phone and somehow did all that myself subconsciously without knowing consciously which you know wouldn't have happened so I looked it up and it said that I should use movie maker and iPhone and I never use that either but I was like okay I'm willing I'll give it a chance so I open up iMovie and I open up one of the videos that had been messed up and I notice that it's already cut at the times where it slows down, probably because it does recognize that there's a difference. But it was literally it was cut split like somebody had split it already. And I only know this because I, I learned how to figure out how to split it myself. But then I was noticing in the second video I was doing that the splits were already there and I saw the lines. So to me, it looked like somebody had already gone in, split it and slowed it down to one eighth speed. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it was one eighth. So I had to play around with it. And it turned out I just had to pull it back up to one times the speed or something to that effect. But it was very interesting that it looked like it had somebody had already gone in and done the editing you know but all I have to say is I did record those four videos they're the only four videos I've ever recorded I've recorded videos since just to test my phone because I'm really concerned that I spent all this money on this phone that's gonna start doing crazy things on me so I tested my phone and I took a 10 minute video and it recorded perfectly the entire time 
So for me, I believe it is the content of this video that somehow something, whether it's human or non-human, does not want me to share it. And I'm not exactly sure why. It could be because maybe an audience member of mine would believe it more coming out of my mouth than maybe somebody else's because we each are on our own path finding our own teachers in life and I have my own teachers you have your own teachers and sometimes what some people say to you mean more than what other people say to you and it doesn't mean that I'm any more valid than anybody else but you know what I mean like people that you know personally in life that you respect that you don't think would lie to you you might believe them more than maybe somebody that is just somebody that you could be thinking is making money off from YouTube. I'm not monetized, so there's no incentive for me here. I just wanted to share this video with you, but I really had to talk to you about the process because I'm, if anything, more angry. Like, come at me, bro. Seriously, somebody's trying to mess with me. It's not okay. But I figured it out and I was able to recover and speed it up because somebody conveniently split the videos for me anyway when they messed them up. So I was able to easily change the speed back once I figured that out. And then I was able to save them again and you know, the whole process. Now I'm editing. But I wanted to share this with you just so you knew. There are a lot of crazy things happening out there and <sighs> just do you. Be you. Um, that's all I can say. You know, keep pushing along, shining your light, and it doesn't matter who pushes you down because you get right back up again. And shine your light even brighter and they can't stop you, okay? We are winning. We have won. Uh, remember, we are on the best possible path that we could be on for our own futures, so no darkness, only sunshine here. And with that, I'll let you know, get back to the video. <laughs> All right. Thank you for listening. Bye.